Hello you guys, welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You, I'm the Watchman on the Wall, Nikki Pratt. Um, this message I'm about to bring is very strong, very strong, strong, strong. And um, I'm talking so strong that it would have you repenting and you haven't even done anything type of strong. Um, <laughs> Whew, I was I was repentant. Like, Lord, if I fall under any of this, I'm telling you, y'all, it's time to get some fear of the Lord if you don't have any. Before I go any further, let's um I'm gonna go ahead and pray. Bow your heads, please. Father in Jesus' name, Lord God, we thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, Lord God, for us to be able to hear, Lord God, the message today. Lord God, we just ask, Lord God, that the people under the sound of my voice would not just only hear but be doers, Lord God, of this word. Let them be convinced to conviction. Father, we bind every spirit of oppression, depression. We bind in the name of Jesus all mind control, mind controlling spirits. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord God, we pray that their hearts will be open and ready to receive. Lord God, quick to repent in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Amen. Short prayer. Okay. Here we go. My eyes are on oppressive and unjust leaders. This message, the title today says, Woe to Oppressive Leaders. My eyes are on oppressive and unjust leaders. Do you think ye shall get away? You profane my name and say, God said, you steal from a people. Will I steal? No, you steal. Will I not visit you for this? If you can, turn with me quickly to Micah chapter 2. I'm going in the amplified version because I want to make sure people hear this and understand it. Verses 1 through 5. Woe. Judgment is coming to those who devise wickedness and plot evil on their beds. When morning comes, they practice evil because it is in the power of their hands. They covet fields and seize them and houses and take them away. They oppress and rob a man and his house, a man and his inheritance. Therefore, thus says the Lord, behold, I am planning against this family a disaster exile like a noose from which you cannot remove your necks nor will you be able to walk haughtily and erect for it will be an evil time of subjugation to the invaders on that day they shall take up a taunting deriding parable against you and wail with a doleful and bitter song of mourning and say we are completely destroyed god exchanges the inheritance of my people, how he removes it from me. He divides our fields to the rebellious, our captors. Therefore, you will have no one stretching a measuring line dividing the common land for you by lot in assembly of the Lord. All right, Micah chapter 3, same chapter. Um, Verse 11, I'm going to read that in the King James Version. Micah chapter 3, verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet they will lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. Repent now, change, and turn from your waywardness. Judgment has already started at the house of God. I see the oppression in the flock. Hold on just a second, you guys. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. All right, I'm going to stop where I left off. I see the oppression in the flock. How can this be? I come to bring liberty and set free. Yet there are people in bondage being oppressed by doing a work by profane leaders. I do a work in this day. 
Men are perverting the church. Men, women, plural, contaminating the church. How can one sit under such filth, lies, and hypocrisy? You are worse than the Pharisees in those days, filling your own pockets and oppressing the poor. There is no spirit operating in most churches. You grieve the spirit. Where there is no spirit, there is no truth. When I said, even in my word, my house shall be a house of prayer, the spirit can't dwell in what you're operating in. in. You oppress women and men in your church by tradition saying, God has not called you when I have called them. Let's turn real quickly to 1 John chapter 2, verse 26 through 29, King James Version. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you, but the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie. And even as it has taught you, ye shall abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. Verse 29, if ye know that he is righteous, ye know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. Wow. Wow. So if you didn't get that, basically what that is saying is, like we see in the church today, there are leaders going around oppressing up and coming new ministers, prophets, prophetess, and, and the, the, the newcomers, the upcomers. They're, they're oppressing them by saying things like, we're going to sit you down. Uh, you not ready yet. The Lord is saying the same anointing that taught you the same anointing that he put on them, he also put on you. Let me carry on. By what spirit were you called? There are those in the church, no, I called them. And in fear and bondage, oppressed by jealousy, when I said gifts and callings are for the edifying of the church. It is not by tradition that I operate. Mm -mm. You have made my word of none effect. Have not I said I will pour out my spirit in the last days? Women will preach, will teach, will prophesy. Children will be used by my spirit. Not by power, not by might, but by my spirit said the Lord. First John chapter 2 verse 7 through 13. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment which ye had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past, and the true light now shines. He that said he is in the light and hated his brother, am I in the right? Okay. Is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abided in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hated his brother is in darkness and walketh in darkness. And know it not whether he goeth. <clears throat> Hold on, you guys. Let me pause this. Let me make sure I got the right verses. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. Um, wrong chapter. Wrong book. All right. Micah chapter 2, verse 7 through 13. So Micah 
chapter 2, verse 7 to through 13. And I'm going to read this from the King James Version and from the message. The message is going to really break it down. Here we go. O thou that are named the house of Jacob, is the spirit of the Lord straightened? Are these his doings? Do not my words do good to him that walketh uprightly? Even of late my people is risen up as an enemy. Ye pull off the robe with the garment from them that pass by, securely as men averse from war. The women of my people have ye cast out from their pleasant houses. From their children have ye taken away my glory forever. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. If a man walking in the spirit and falsehood do lie, saying, I will prophesy unto thee of wine and strong drink, he shall even be the prophet of this people. I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. I will surely gather the remnant of Israel. I will put them together as the sheep of Basra, as the flock in the midst of their fold. They shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. The breaker is come up before them. They have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out by it. And their king shall pass before them and the Lord on the head of them. All right, let me switch versions here. Verse 7 through 13. Huh. Don't preach, says the preachers. Don't preach such stuff. Nothing bad will happen to us. Talk like this to the family of Jacob. Does God lose his temper? Is this the way he acts? Isn't he on the side of good people? Doesn't he help those who help themselves? What do you mean, good people? You're the enemy of the people. You rob unsuspecting people out of an evening stroll. You take their coats off their backs like soldiers who plunder the defenseless. You drive the women of my people out of their ample homes. You make victims of the children and leave them vulnerable to the violence and vice. Get out of here, the lot of you. You can't take it easy here. You've polluted this place, and now you polluted. Now and now you're polluted, ruined. If someone showed up with a good smile and a glib tongue and told lies from morning to night, I'll preach sermons that will tell you how you can get anything you want from God. More money, the best wines, you name it. You'd hire him on the spot as your preacher. I'm calling a meeting, Jacob. I want everyone back, all the survivors of Israel. I get them together in one place, like a sheep in a fold, like cattle in a quarrel, a miling or milling throng of homebound people, then our God will burst all confinements and lead them out into the open. They'll follow their king. I will be out in front leading them. I'll say what I got to say after this. Micah chapter 3. Back to the King James Version. Michael chapter 3, verses 8 through 12. But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, and of judgment, and of might, to declare unto Jacob his, transgress his transgression, and to Israel his sin. Hear this, I pray you, ye heads of the house of Jacob, and princes of the house of Israel, that abhor judgment, and pervert all equity, they build up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire, and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yes, I'm reading this again. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. Therefore shall Zion for your sake be plowed as a field, and Jerusalem shall become heaps and the mountain of the house, as the high places of the forest. I do the promoting by my spirit, 
not man. I'm going to say that again. I do the promoting by my spirit, not man. I also will demote. I'm raising up bold leaders who will move by my spirit, will speak boldly as I proclaim it. The first will be last, and the last will be first a people to stand for my glory and not for the glory of men. This is an hour of positioning. He that hath an ear, hear, come out from among them. I say, be not seated in the seat with the scornful. Light can't dwell in darkness. Flee these sanctuaries. Come out from among them. Keep your eyes on me. Did I not say, I will direct your path and order your steps? Wait on me. I will give you instructions. You will know by my spirit when to move. One more. Isaiah chapter 30. The Lord hidden on all angles. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1 through 3. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not acted at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Verse 3, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Okay, now I can say, I can say what, 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 um, if you didn't understand, let me break it down to you. What's going on here? Let me just start right here where it says, Woe to those who cover with a covering but not of my spirit. Let me tell you. That right there opened my eyes. Because I was recently asked by a leader who was my covering. Who was my covering? And I said, the Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, by man's tradition, he said, no, 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 see, See, no, yeah, the Lord is your covering, but no, 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 brothers, sisters, hear me. Those of you who who you uh, you knew and you you up and coming and you might like I was. I know we we've been told by the church that we need a covering. You just heard this word and you just heard what the Lord said. It's just like this. If you have. A, a your 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 natural father, your your natural father, your earthly father. You go to him and you say, um, uh, Daddy, uh, I'm I'm gonna go out uh, uh, on a date, and um, no, Daddy, I went out on a date and um, I got in some trouble and this guy hit me and I was gonna call you, but I I didn't call you. I called such and such, Daddy. Your daddy is going to be offended, just like our spiritual daddy. Basically, this is what he said. Woe to the rebellious children that cover with a covering, but not by my spirit. There is no greater covering than the Lord Jesus Christ. So I looked at that leader, not in no disrespect. I said, well, he's been covering me this far. You know, no, you need a covering. He's been covering me this far and still covering. Does not Psalms 91 says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It's no coincidence that in verse 2 it said, uh, To walk, to go down into Egypt and have not acts at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and trust in the shadow of Egypt. That ain't no coincidence. See, he said he will protect us under his wings. 
We don't need no covering from man because man going to fail, but God is going to be there for us at all times. He can, he's going to cover us. That's man's tradition that says that you need, if we needed a earthly covering, the Lord would, no. Woe to the rebellious children. You heard it. You heard it. You heard it. And let me tell you, if you are in a church, you know your leader is doing some outlandish, and in some outlandish stuff, you know that they prophesying lies and, and telling you to give uh, money and 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 they and I'm just gonna name some stuff that I've seen. You know they getting you to put your money up on the altar and they stepping on it and saying more money, more money and sowing seeds and they stepping all over the money and 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 um, basically you know it's some foul stuff going on on that church and you still under there. Whatever that judgment is for that leader is the same for you. The, the Lord says, come out from among them. We cannot be seated in the seat with the scornful. If you watching people, it, it be in the wind of who is false and who is not. But Besides it being in the wind, and when I say in the wind, people talk. You know what I'm saying? And you shall know them by their fruit. And not only that, we should have discernment to know good from evil. Because a lot of people are on here, they don't have, you know, these, these prophets, uh, false prophets, some will say, and uh, these people that are claiming they're apostles and they're apostates. You know what I'm saying? And they on here for the wrong reason. When you got true-hearted people uh, wanting to bring the, the word to the for the heart and the good of the people, and want to be the bring the truth and struggle with Lord, please make sure I'm bringing the truth. You know what I'm saying? Versus somebody getting up here bringing forth lies for the production of their pockets and not for the help or the good of the people. Basically, you will come under the same judgment if you're sitting in this church knowing this got you going up. This is going on. Woe to the oppressive leaders. You 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 oppressing people and telling them that they can't preach. You not ready yet. I uh, I, I here it is. I haven't released you yet. Excuse me. Did you not hear this message? He said, the same, the word says, the same anointing that taught them will teach you. You need not any man teach you. That's what the scripture says. You need not any man teach you. Let me go back there. Uh, was that a... Micah, 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 Micah. I'm going to go back there because I think I've read it in the Amplified. Micah chapter 2, verse 1 through 5. Let's see. Was that the one? Okay, wait a minute. I'm going to have it. Um, oh, Okay, maybe it was. Hold on, I don't want to run up the video. Hold on. All right. First John chapter 2, verse 27, and I'll read again. But the anointing which you have received of him abided in you. And ye need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointed teaches you of all things and is truth and is no lie. And even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. Abide in who? Abide in him. The Lord Jesus Christ. Judgment has started at the house of God, people. If, if you being oppressed and the Lord has called you to preach, teach, and, and and you sitting there 
and you know you need to, the Lord is pulling and pulling and pulling and tugging and tugging on you. I'm, while I'm saying this, and I look down, this is what the scripture says. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. <laughs> I have not written unto you because you know not the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Wow. Tell me if that wasn't in my face on time. You got an unction from the Holy One that is telling you that I, I want you to start preaching. I'm ready for you to preach. The one who goes, I've, I've seen and I've heard uh, leaders say, oh, she, oh she's the, the chief prophetess. And, 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 and when she gets here, she going to sit some people down. That ain't right. Let no man be chief among you. No man. The same anointing that is on them came by, uh, they were anointed by the Lord. That same, that's the same anointing that is on you. No man can sit nobody down that the Lord has anointed. The Lord has called you to preach. And you sit there because man told you you can't move. No. That ain't going to work. That's not how that works. Woe to the oppressive leaders. Woe to oppressive leaders. That's not going to work. And the Lord don't like it when we, I, I'm learning some stuff. I have been guilty of, of you know, going through church where I need, I need a mentor. And I kept saying I need a mentor. And when I got to sit down and, and read, and I saw that for the first time, you need not any man teach you. Oh, I, I don't have a covering. And then I see that. You, you read that? Oh, the Lord will speak. I've been guilty of it in the past. I've been guilty. The Lord says, confess your faults. Confess your faults before another, one another, so that you may be healed of them. Been there, done that. I've done it. Seeking counsel from other people instead of going to the Lord first. I mean, that doesn't take away that you, you, can, you can, the Bible says, uh, there's safety in the multitude of counselors. Uh, you know, you're just not quite understanding something. But he likes us to go to him. And again, I've, I've been guilty of that before. Big done it. But when we know better, we do better. Amen. If you fall, if you sitting in a church and you know there's some foul stuff going on and you've been oppressed by a leader and they they walking all over you, you haven't preached you haven't taught, and you know what the Lord is calling you to do, you better move up out of there. I'm going to say it again. The same judgment they get, you get. I mean, it's some foul, false prophets. They're filling their pockets, and yet you still sitting there. You had this unction over and over while you sitting there. Pulling and tugging at your heart like something just ain't right. Something just ain't right. You keep getting them questions. It's time for you to move up out of there. I love you guys. I hope you, um, you know, um, pray about this. If you need any, if you have any repentance to do, I done told you I done already repented, and and I whether I was wrong or right, I'm 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 repenting just in case. Uh, some serious fear of the Lord. A lot of us need some fear of the Lord. I love you guys. See you next video. Thanks.